Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome, welcome back to Foundry. Well, last time we started the whole steel process by combining xenoferrite with ignium, and then that being inserted into these crushers, where it then goes into these smelters to make the steel beams. And then obviously that goes into a storage. But then we made an output for that storage, which goes underneath the ground and then comes out here to go towards these assemblers to make advanced machinery parts. And then later on in the episode, we actually made this little hole right here inside of the mountain by using some explosives. Well, then we kind of put these little structures underneath here, these little supports, just kind of give it a bit of bit of something, something, you know, and then maybe down here, because we know there's an elevators, we might use this as an elevator slot. But who knows what the future holds and who knows what's going to be happening in today's video. But I just wanted to give you a warm welcome and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all having a good morning, good afternoon and good evening. And uh, hopefully your day is going well. And just remember, if you want to see all the behind the scenes of this stuff, I do have a VOD channel where all the live streams get put, where we work on these well live and then you can basically see how i do everything minute by minute and all that kind of good stuff there is many many videos and they're all in half an hour segments so head over there if you want to see them you can even see the ones that i've done that's going to be coming out in three four episodes time um so if you want to sneak peek at what's going on and where we our future of this series is going you can see it all over on that channel but anyway hopefully you all enjoyed this video and remember to like subscribe and also leave a comment and with all the plugs out the way Let's jump in to today's video. So the first thing I want to do today is I'm going to look at our research. We want to check our research every time. And I want to look into greenhouses. Uh, so if we look here, a greenhouse needs xenoferrit plates, which we've got. It also needs glass, which we don't have. And we also need pipes, which we don't have. And to get glass, we actually need to do cement. But if we go into our crafting menu, you can see now we've got a casting machine. And if we look up here, we can see we've got concrete, cement, gravel, and glass. So I have researched the glass as well as the concrete. And I think next I want to research the greenhouse because doing the greenhouse, we can then go into biomass farming and unlock automated biomass farming and a decorative wooden block. Note that biomass farming is, in, is energy efficient and costs more power than it yields. So I think I'm going to go down this, but we want to start with the greenhouse first. So if we have a look at our map here, we can see um, we have some mineral rock right here, uh, which is what we're kind of after for cement. We've also got some technum ore down here, but I'm going to check along this river just because we do need some water. So do we have, uh, did I unlock water pumps and all that kind of stuff? I'm pretty sure I did. Let's look, open my crafting menu. I'm pretty sure I did. Did I, or did I not? I did. Pipe intakes and pipes. Yeah, so oh yeah, pipes require steel, so we can actually make them. So ignore what I said at the beginning. Um, so we can actually make pipes. We can make the pipe intakes. Is there storage for this? I've not unlocked storage for liquids. So maybe that's something we look at upon the research as well. And then soon we are going to need another research tree because if we look in here, we can see that we are going to be coming across the green research later on. Green research packs uh, need concrete. They need advanced machinery parts and pipes. So we do need to automate pipes. And all that needs is steel. And then we need to get the concrete, which we need to figure out where we want to get from. And then also we've got the machinery parts right here. So technically Bob's our uncle because we just need to, you know, bring over our concrete via logistics. Okay, so I've just done a little bit of scanning and we can see we've got some mineral rock over here as well. So we have a large mineral up there at 115 with some ignium and a little technum. So maybe we build like a small factory here or maybe an underground little factory. Because we are on the surface right now, maybe we actually do do that. So let's give it a scan again, because I will need power to power whatever is over here, right? And since we have the Igneum Rock, which is over there, I'm going to have to make my way to that. So we're going to have to mine. So either I go under the water here, but then with the water physics, I don't want the water coming in. Um, maybe I'll go over here and start looking at... Maybe building a staircase to go down. And under the water, we can actually see the uh, middle ore right here. So that is pretty close. So I just need to maybe look at where I want to head up to here. We have this water here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start like flattening this by just drilling all this out and trying to figure out a good little distance to get down there without going past it. 
So I need to keep scanning and trying to get down there. I think he is going to be good, actually. We can just kind of work down there and try to come up the side of this, maybe. Okay, so after some time, I managed to get down here with just some explosives and built like a little makeshift kind of st uh, some steps here. Um, and if you've noticed, what I've done is I've just kind of give it like a little two gap and all that kind of stuff. So I do need to make some stirs, which I do have here, but I do want to make some more. Uh, where are they? Stirs. So I'm just going to handcraft a bunch of them. And more than likely as well, because I do want to get power up out of here because we might need power elsewhere. Um, so all of these blocks right now, what I need to do is I need to remove one of the stirs, like so. Remove this one and then replace it with foundations all the way to the top. I can get power to go up there. So I need to do that, that, and that. And then get myself the stirs. And just rotate that along there. Bada bing, bada bosh and do that all the way along. So I know when I get to the top, if we do do a, a bit of a factory on the outside where we might need to transport the cement elsewhere later on the line, at least I know I'll have power. So I just need to kind of keep mining this dirt out, which obviously we are gonna skip for these the video purposes. Um, otherwise, you guys are just gonna be watching me do this for the next 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, so after running back many, many times, just so I can get down here and get foundations, we can see the stairs have been added now, and I've done like a little bit of a wall going up here. I found it easier to build this uh, just to kind of, you know, get the power up here. And I've obviously covered that water that was there as well uh, and all that kind of good stuff. So we've now got down here and I'm currently researching the biomass farming, if you can tell by the top right. That is because obviously the greenhouse has been done over time uh, and we could finally look at doing this. But obviously to make greenhouses, we do need glass and that's where this comes in right here. So we are just going to kind of keep extending on with uh, the foundations here. And I can't express to you how much I'm looking forward to the jetpack just because the amount of times I've had to run backward and forward backward and forward um just to you know get some foundations and all that kind of good stuff but yeah th this is kind of looking okay so far uh, and what i want to do is if we get our scanner out i think we are actually on the correct level for the igneum as well oh we're not so maybe 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 i'm gonna blast this out further like so yeah i'm gonna delete some of my foundations but i'm gonna have to go deeper maybe i, I build some more stairs to then head down towards the igneum Oh my god, I've got... I hate it when you get one level below. I cannot wait for the jetpack. I don't know if I can express that enough. But we're just going to make this go down until we get to the level of the Igneum. Which, if I scan again, and then we look at the middle number that's on it, 98. So we're currently on floor 105, and that 98 is the center of the ore. It's not the top. It's not the bottom, it's actually the center. So that middle line is what that's expressed there. So 98 is where we need to kind of go to. So more explosives, keep heading down, and then eventually I'll get to this Igneum. Right, so after a good little while, we can see we have now a little tunnel that comes down here, and I've done basically the same walls that comes along here. We do need to get some lights, in fact. Um, we have got the biomass researched, and as you can tell, I've now got the power up and running in this area. So if we actually go into here, um, I've got uh, some wall lights here. Uh, and what I've been kind of doing, this is a kind of good way to test if the power's kind of coming through. You just put your lights down so we can see that's uh, light uh, lit. And if we go up here, we can see that these foundations are connected. And it's a good way just to kind of test and science if everything's powered or if there's any missing blocks because obviously with everything running through foundations your electricity and stuff electricity what happened to my tongue right then i think i swallowed it um <laughs> but if we head around we can as we can we can see that everything is powered so i want to kind of add these lights around here i think i'm just going to scatter them there is no kind of like uh shadows or any form of casting because if we put this like there there and there and i encase this light we can see it still lights up this area. I will remove this one. So there is no form of, you know, lights and all this kind of stuff. And I'll turn my lights off as well. It still illuminates the area, even if it's hidden. Even if I close it like that, you can see it then goes off. But if we move one, it'll still light this area. It does it like a tiny little bit, but it's not anything like subsurface scattering or RTX wise. So don't kind of expect any of that, uh, that stuff, you know. Okie dokie. So now that we have this power room here as well, I've added some lights into here and I made a bit of a structure that goes around this little tunnel. It's just it's just like a rib cage, really. Um, and what I've done also is um, 
I don't want to put these lights way too close together because it looks a little congested. Uh, and I put some ceiling lights here. So if we kind of turn our torch off, it, it's not too crazy. Because as you know, in like Satisfactory, for example, what I would do is I'll get the lights. I would then place these down at maybe like all of these kind of intervals. But if we just take a look at, uh, in a second, when I put all these down, it just doesn't look right. So I'll put them there like this. And But when we're looking down like this, it because it gives this floor shape here, it creates a different texture. But then it just looks a little weird coming down here. And it just doesn't add, it's just not for me. So I'm just going to go do, 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 delete all of these. The more and more I play this as well, there is some things I do wish was like added to the game. Uh, and hopefully they will in the future. As you know, I think I explained in the last video as well, there was a roadmap as well. Um, and uh, they've got a few things where I'm currently on the development build uh, of the game. And if you are wanting to get on the development build yourself, so as, as always, make sure you back up your saves if you do. Um, editing bits will put a code up on the screen right now. And if you use that code and go to your Steam, just like you would here, right click, click properties, go into betas and type that password that, that was on screen a moment ago. And I'll also put it in the description, paste it into the click check code. It will come up with a little box saying you can enter the uh, QR quality of life testing branch. Um, so click that and then it'll update your game. Like I said, make sure you back up your saves just in case anything happens, as always, when you're playing experimental stuff. So if we head up here, I've got a little surprise for you as well, which I'm just kind of making and, you know, using explosives over and over again. It's still a little bit dark up here. So let's turn my light on, but I've got a little water feature. So I was blowing this up and I accidentally blew a hole up into the water here. Uh, and which leads out into the river, but it kind of comes through and I've kind of just like barricaded it off. Um, and we have this little bit of a water feature that comes through, which I kind of liked. And then if we come across here as well, I've opened this up where this is where I want to add like the smelters and all this kind of stuff uh, and the or ass assemblers just so we can get the concrete up and running. I do actually want to raise this ceiling up a tiny little bit. But also right now we're currently researching the high voltage energy grid um, obviously, I've researched all the stuff in the meantime, um, like, for example, uh, we've got ore refinement now researched. And ore refinement unlocks the option to refine ore to increase efficiency. So now we can make a xenoferrite ore and technum ore, where the usual recipe, if I head over to the base right here, is it just goes straight into a smelter, which is actually using technum rubble. And it'll be the same for the xenoferrite. It will actually be using rubble. So what we'll need to do now is we'll need to put a crusher down. And then that crusher's uh, output will then get put into a smelter. And by the looks of it, it looks like a 1 to 2 ratio. So maybe we'll do that before any of this runs out. And obviously, it'll be a bit more efficient because we have that technomore there. And if I'm not mistaken, this one is running out pretty quick. Oh my god, it is. But that's also because we're using it for this over here, right? The, um, the steel... We're using it here and we're, it is needed for the plates, which we kind of use a lot. And now I've got to run all the way back here. Like you have to run over this bloody mountain and it's annoying me. Just give me the jet back already. So I've managed to get the concrete uh, coming out of these miners here and took it along here, which then goes into here and then goes into this crusher right here. And if we actually look at the recipe to actually make uh, cement, we need xenoferrite or rubble, which on the map, I actually don't have any nearby. So the only ones is, well, is over here, but that's the one we're already using and is about to run out, which I just shown uh, a moment ago. So what I've done is I have to go over to this one, which is quite far away. And if I turn around, I've had to make a tunnel that goes all the way down here. So which leads into that little opening gap. And here's the walkway that goes to our little water feature, which then goes all the way down here. And it's just a straight tunnel with a conveyor belt on the left up one block I and mean, it takes us all the way down to actually get some xenoferrite and it's just one big tunnel and maybe in the future who knows we'll add on to this and maybe grab some more igneum which we might need for over here ah and there's more xenoferrite so now that we've got this i need to look at the ratios of what it is and kind of make this a bit more efficient than what we have been doing with the other items so I'm going to go back into here. We're going to click confine this. I'm going to do the cement and we can see it needs 10 uh, mineral rocks per minute and it needs a five xenoferrite. Xenoferrite, I'm okay with it just kind of backing up, but let's get the mineral rocks and make them efficient. So it requires 10 
We know that belts hold 160. And if we go into the build menu here, we can see conveyor belts uh, can transport 160. And then also these miners over here, with how close they are right now, they are going to be yielding probably around 80. But right now, this is saying zero because we are full on the storage. So the cement is making its way through here. So I'm going to come into here. It's going to get mixed with this. So we do need a dual input. And I, do, I don't really like this down here, but it's kind of like a temporary thing. I might make another walkway to get through here. Because I wanted to use this as a walkway. But what I need to do now is I need to remove this. And I'm then going to get my ore. And then we're going to get a ramp. Uh, which, do I have any conveyor ramps? I don't think I do. I'm going to have to make some. So let's quickly grab one of them. Build one of them. Hold right mouse button. And rotate that to bring down. But then we're going to bring that along here. We're going to remove that inserter. And we're just going to bring that to there, there, there like so and just bring this all the way down here i've got a bit of an entrance here this might get removed because i have a feeling if we do have 160 items uh, going on this uh, concrete belt and the machine needs 10 we need 16 um crushers in a line here um so what i want to do is i don't think i'm gonna have enough room i might need to blow up in that wall there also so let's put a crusher down there i'm gonna need two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I want eleven. I need to put down seven more, and I do need to blow open this. So, without further ado, bada bing, bada bloody boom. And I've just blew a hole in my. And I just blew up a machine. Good job, bits. Good bloody job. Um. Okay, I'm falling through the world. This happens a lot. And now it will put me above the cave where I need to be. Because technically I was in this tunnel. And now I need to... Yeah. Good job, game. Your fault this time, not mine. <laughs> yeah, I just keep bloody running. Auto jump. Please auto jump, where are you? Uh, auto jump. Oh, there we go. Whew. Okay, so after extending the... Uh, wall here i've now put all 16 of the crushes down which are now they're not crushes are they crushes are these crushes i can't remember yeah they are crushes i i'm still getting used to the machines so let me off okay things happen i'm a spoon and we're all kind of new to the game right saying that well by the time this video goes out the game would have been out maybe two weeks so a lot of you guys are probably at end game right now so let me know in the comments if you're uh you're at end game or if you're enjoying the game now after two weeks so Give me a little heads up and let me know. So with all these running, these are all outputting uh, how much per minute? These are outputting 10 per minute, which goes onto a, you know, a Mark 1 belt at 160, which goes into storage. And then I can actually get this concrete, you know, and then we can turn it into like concrete blocks and all that kind of good stuff, which is all right. Um, and then also what we want to do is because we want to make glass, right? And then obviously glass needs, oh, it needs, gr oh my God, bits. You're trying to make glass, but you you need gravel. You oh my god. Okay, all right. Well, I need, gra <laughs> I need gravel. That can easily be done. Let's put down another crusher, I guess. Uh, well, uh, it's made in a smelter, in fact. So, what I need to do is just grab some ore, I guess. But blah 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 blah. We then put down a smelter. I don't like how we have to do this. This is one feature I wish we could actually see. So I can put like this down and then I can go into here and I can see the stats because I don't think it's something we visibly can see. Like we can open the F1 menu uh, and we can go through here and look at like concretes, but there's no search bar for me to search. It gives you the advanced tips and uh, all this kind of stuff, right? Uh, buildings and machines, uh, but... It's kind of like a, a little tips thing. I want to go on here. I want to, I want to know if I input, you know, concrete, how much item I want to get per minute. But the way we've got to do it now is I've got to go into this and manually um, add the uh, the items, right? So I go into here. Wait, do I not put... Wait, hold on a minute. What was the recipe again for... Wait, how do I make gravel? Gravel. I do make it in the crusher. Oh my God, bits. Wait, so let me grab the crusher. Let's put... Why am I making more? Go over here. 
Right, now, we're going to here. We make gravel. So we're going to need 10 per minute, so we're going to need 16 more. But this time it's 30, which means we need to do multiple outputs for the gravel. So I need to make more crushers. And by doing so, I need blah, 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 which I don't have enough materials to make. So I need more xenoferrite plates and more machinery parts, which means I need to run back to the bloody base. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Climb the mountain. Dooby dooby doo doo. Roll down the hill. I think I'm going insane. <laughs> I just want to come back here, get xenoferrite plates, and get the machinery parts, which, I was, as we know, we're already automating that stuff for the tech trees and all that bloody good stuff. Where is my... Over here, right? Yeah. So I need some of you. Boop, boop, boop. And I also need some of you. Bada bing, bada bosh. Cool. So I can make more crushes. Where's my crushes? So I've already got... How many have I got? I've got 10. Let's just make another 10. And then I've got to run all the way back again. <laughs> I think I've done this about 20 times for me recording this video. And then I can run back down here, jump in here through this doorway that I now need to remove get around and then I can place these constructors so I'm gonna need wait did I not make them oh I did they go into two two separate piles right so I only need concrete to come down here so I need to go one two because I need to put the inserters down we may as well just line them up with these put one down there and then we're just gonna spam click oh my god I, I, I this is one of the things I wish was better in the game for like early game is the reach I feel like the reach is a little bit too short. I feel like you should be able to reach at least four to five blocks. Maybe four, three to four blocks, kind of. Like, I, know, I understand we are using a drill and there is a laser gun later on that we can mine with. But, like, eh, I think early game, it needs a little bit more of an extra reach. Um, yeah, my opinion right now. Right, so now we can put the rest of these down. Where did I put one too many? Wait, they're not lined up. I've missed... Oh, that one's not lined up. Wait, put you down. Bam, bam. Nice. So now I just need to get the conveyor belt to run all the way along here. I actually need to make some more. Let's let's make some more conveyor belts. Let's grab a handful of them. Run these along here. Get the inserters going in to the machines. And then... Put the outputs actually no before we do that oh it is an output wait have i set them to outputs as well oh my god i need to manually go through these and change them to inputs now and then continually put these back down nope just random auto climb in there and again <laughs> just slowly making my way up the mountain and then bring a bell all the way through here like so gonna get a, another storage down which i've got a large one here place that there with a input literally right there click the little button and then boom like so and then then i just need to go and grab the concrete and then i ripped it all out because i didn't have enough room the reason being we had the concrete coming down here i had then the intakes going into the crushers and then i had the crushers with the gravel going into storage but we wanted to make glass so i made it right here and all it is it's two crushers to one smelter so what did i just say smelter so two crushers merge into their lines to go into one smelter so two to one so we've got eight smelters going along here which is now me uh, making glass which then goes down here into storage so then <laughs> Finally, after many trials and errors and removing stuff over and over again, I have a little bit of a walkway down here. We built an additional tunnel. I've got a floating light, and that brings the xenoferrite. I brought the uh, concrete over here, like so, by just adding additional four miners right there. And then we're all good. Oh, and I also filled that door in. So regarding the research... So regarding the research, we now only have the office furniture and the science pack to unlock because we got quite a few unlocked today, uh, which I've just kind of been doing as throughout the build, which we kind of got the uh, few, uh, liquid tanks now. We've got pumps, we've got the high power, all this kind of good stuff. And uh, I think what I want to work on next is the green science, which we kind of need to research. 
So I'm going to get that being researched now. Uh, and we can then move on with what we need to do. And that is to end this video. So thank you so much for watching. And hopefully you enjoyed these videos. I am now back to streaming after my little temporary hiatus because of my uh, injury that I had. For those that don't know, I injured my soldier. Uh, soldier? I can't English today. I, <laughs> I injured my shoulder which put me out of commission, let's say, for a, 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 a week and a half, nearly two weeks. There was no streams, and as you know, I build all of these uh, on stream, so it's not like I can do it off stream, because the people over on Twitch like to see me build it as well. So just like you guys do, if you want to watch it on the VOD channel. So without further ado, um, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment. And as always, keep bloody smiling, and check out my other content.